This is the heaviest thing we've ever done with the van. I didn't get it either, it's all ash. I'm sorry you had to wake up to that, but we are going to do a very hard part of the Frenchman track in about half an hour. So people are going to say it, they are, they're going to say you shouldn't be towing the Frenchman track with your caravan on, but we're doing it. We're towing through the Frenchman track. What did you expect us to do, to be honest? You've been watching us for this long. You know that it's gonna get stupid. Leany Lenny's gonna get on the lean. Let's, let's get stupid. Mm. Alrighty, my dudes. It's uh, time to get cracking. So we camped last night just up the top here, um, just up the top of this hill that we're about to go down. And there's a whole heap, there's like a full drive, like tag along tour up there. And I sort of wanted to wait for them to leave because I just want to go down on my own, you know? And I don't want like 30 people just staring at me, but they're being so slow, like they're just there. So I reckon we're just gonna to have to do it. So if you see a lot of old people pointing fingers and stuff in this video, put down in the comments that they're getting in our way. We're ready to go, tires down. I haven't told Lily, but I'm actually quite nervous. I'm nervous, I'm very nervous. You know what I'm more nervous about? I'm more nervous about the onlookers than I am about the actual hill. Because I just hate when we become a spe spectacle because you know we often become spectacle. This <laughs> <laughs> isn't the worst thing we've done. Um, the only thing I'm like, I'm happy with coming up this. It's just that that there's that stump there and I don't want to lay over and hit the awning. Oh. You should be higher than that at that point, to be honest. And I know when we went down, that second bump on the right, you look, your right tire is going to go into it. So if anything, your left side should possibly come up a little bit. There are honestly a thousand people watching this right now. It's ridiculous. I feel like a bloody zoo animal. Not to worry, it's all part of it. Everyone wants to see someone mark up. Yeah, yeah, I actually think this will be fine. where we need that winch. Yeah, we'll just get a shovel, babe. So the problem is right now, what we had feared is happening. It's just that the awning is just dragging along the side here because it's laid over so much. You should be higher than that at that point, to be honest. But that's all right, because we're gonna dig it out a little bit and then hopefully it'll, it'll just come right. It should be out now. Just give it a little creep forward. Just a smidge. It broke off. Oh, the awning was stuck? Yeah, the awning broke off. You're good now, though. Nice and slow, Jackie. Just slow, real slow. But. That didn't break. 
I think it did break. It snapped off. It's all right, it'll fix. No, it's okay. I had no idea what was going on. Like I didn't know, I didn't know whether the awning was were there or I didn't even know we were calling the awning. Like everyone was just like, stop. So I just, I just had no idea. Because what, they were trying to dig it out. I thought we were just mixing, I thought we were just moving matchstraps. But then they were like, it's all good, straps. and I was like, no, I don't think it is all good. Well, you told me it was all good, well, and I was like, no one was, else Everyone anything. was saying, just go. So I was like, oh, well, we'll just go then. Strap that back. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's all right. It is what it is. I, I think that everyone just took over. Like, the, Yeah, everything... there was just too many people there, and that's the thing. Like, it was just, people yeah. were just saying stuff, and I just had no idea what was going on. Like, I didn't even know that. The awning, that the was, awning was caught. Like I thought we were just putting max tracks under. Like yes. I, I didn't know. I was just sitting in the car. Like all right, let's go. And then Lil was like, yeah, go. No, don't, you can't say I said just go. Every well, everyone else was telling me to go, so I was like, all right, well, we'll just go then. I'm sorry. It's That's not my. Right, I don't think it's my fault. It's not your fault. I it's like. Your fault. What was I supposed no, to you, do? No, there they were, were telling you. Fifty thousand people there. I know. There was too many people. Like it always happens. Every time like there's always just people just like putting their two cents in but oh it just drives me insane like you want to help each other out but like there's no help by just saying do this do that do that do that because there's a thousand people saying that and then you end up getting nowhere so what's happened is this bit sort of bent and then that's come sideways obviously because it was being the awning was being pulled these are just rivets so hopefully we can just get some screws bend that back, pop it back on. We break our awning, great. The problem is, is that I was so hard on the brakes the whole time, we just slid, like I couldn't control it. Here he is, to the left a bit. Slowly, yep. Yep, that's good, turn that way a bit. Yep, that way a bit, yep. Uh, just turn to the right a bit. Wow. That was even tippy in the big tank. What are you thinking? Yeah, just make a shifter and bend it back around. Bend it back around. Mm -hmm. He's a man. If we just had you there on your eye, we wouldn't have been that's perfect. That's straight. That's straighter than it was before. That will. We just got to take these out, and yep. then I can um, drill these out and bolt this on. Yep. Yep. Look at this guy. Just helping me. He doesn't need to. He's the man. He's the man. You've never not been able to do something. I'm a sweaty man. <laughs> oh, I'm tell you what. I'm sweaty too. So thanks to Ash, we've got it back together, and it's good as new. Well. The dirt squirters are over there. It's not as good as new, but the awning will still work. I just have to see if I can sort of tighten these bolts up here. Jeez, rev them. Sort of come out of here. Might be an excuse to get one of those big fox wing awnings. Do they have a caravan one? Yeah, the Meg, they're called. What are they? Bushwhacker make them. I'm gonna miss this, Kate York. Aren't you? Yeah. Just sitting in a bog hole, in a river. In a river crossing. It is beautiful up here. Even if our poor little setup doesn't enjoy it. I think that next time we come back here, we might make the smart decision and bring a rooftop. We need to buy a rooftop. We need to buy a rooftop tent. If you, anyone has any uh, smart sort of ideas on how you can bring a rooftop tent the and boat. a boat, Yes, true. Yeah, let we us talking, know. We've been talking about this. I know the Explore Life did it and he put the boat on top of his caravan, but it covered his solar panels and I feel like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And I've, I've thought about something similar since then.
we're on the other side of the river now and there's a bit of a sandy exit here. So Ash is gonna come up first and uh, then hopefully I make it up, but if I don't, he'll be at the top and we can just pull up. The kookaburras are laughing as they're going, look at these idiots. This is like a quite a steep corner. No concerns. Jesus. That poor. <laughs> that was bouncing around, it wasn't was it? That was just like boo, 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 boo. I reckon there'll be nothing in any of the cupboards <laughs> after that. Rip awning. Oh well, Frenchman's track. We didn't expect to be here, but we're here and we're having a great time. One last hill that I know of. I went for a bit of a walk this morning and had a look. It's just exiting out of this creek. So we'll see how the tank goes. Like nothing. That spot wasn't safe. Where I was, the caravan was like, pushing up against my face pretty much. <sighs> Close to a tree now. That's, it's on the tree. Jacob just said, oh God, and that is never good. <laughs> oh God is right, that's for sure. I just think Lenny might get on a bit of a lean. Help it stay up. I'm nervous about this bit. I'll probably be right. I'll probably just hit these rock sliders. Yeah. We're on this yeah. log. Oh, it's, it might break that rock slider. That was just putting a lot of pressure here. Like that was moving it. Huh? That was, this was putting a lot of pressure on this and it was moving it. Moving the rock slider. Yeah. That's right, I'll just put Max tracks under the wheel here. Yeah, yeah, go. The step. Step's broken. I went a bit fast today. I don't know what to do here. No. It's, it's okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. We did just smash that step though. It's not that bad. I mean, it's broken. It's just been bent sideways. I'll leave it up there now. It's higher than it was. <laughs> I don't think we've done this much damage in ever. In a short space. Yeah, short, this short span. We should have turned around. You should bloody subscribe because we can't afford this, firstly. Yeah. And secondly, then we'll keep doing this stupid shit. Please yeah. subscribe. Because we can't afford Please this. subscribe, gonna... subscribe. Subscribe. If we're gonna keep doing this, we can't afford You need it. to subscribe. Because that helps us out. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, look at this. Boof. Boof. Two in like what? A kilometer. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you. We've just got to two bog holes and like that's all well and good, but we don't know how deep it is. Sacrifice my limb for that. Hang on, there's two. Oh god. We just keep hitting spot after spot after spot. We've got to hit this. Oh Jesus. In other news. This bloke obviously didn't have an iTech world battery and it's gone on him. <laughs> Whoa! <Ow. laughs> what happened? I cut my toe. You have to show me. That's all destroyed anyway. I know, but like it just. It's got like a rock in there. Oh, he's nipping me. He's trying to nip me. You're so brave, Jacob. I'm trying, but I, I, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's him. I didn't get it either. It's all ash. I could eat it one go. <laughs> should we put him back or should we keep him? Put him back. But still. We have enough friends. That sound makes you want to wait. Yeah. Oh, we'll go across the <laughs> Oh. I think we should lift this off. They're awning. March flies. What if I just chuck max tracks straight under there now up. and it'll pop it up? Yep. It's not March. <laughs> You're part of the foliage. Mm, they're so heavy, I can't. <laughs>
What's happening here is the winch is coming. Ash's winch is locking in and out. It's like fr coming into free spool on its own. So I'll lock it in like that and then come in. Yeah. So it just unlocks itself. So we might have to bring my car around. Oh, yeah, just let it go. Welcome to formal driving with Lil and Jake. <laughs> Where's safe for me to stand? Right here. I was worried about that back corner on that. Yeah, that's what they're for. Hope there's not much more. <laughs> After that ordeal, we're just going to stop for a bit of lunch. Couple of singers, hey babe. Uh -huh. And we also don't have any good knives for butter. No. Do you know what's funny? Uh, where we're from, Tasmania, you can just leave butter in the cupboard. It's so cold. <laughs> that looks really good, doesn't it? That's a good spread job. This is my making sandwich face. Yum. I feel like sandwiches are the only things that we actually ever show you we eat. <laughs> the rest is just McDonald's. So we go there and we get like 20 Big Mac meals and then we just freeze them all in like little portions and then that's pretty much what we eat every day. But we just don't show you. It's the best way to eat ever.
we put a Max Trucks here? Made it. Made it, made it, made it. What's wrong? He's hung up on a lot of rope. Forward in this way. Like the more you sink, the more you're gonna get water in. All right, let's get the snatch strap out. What is today? It's turning into a bit of a mess. You just need to tell me how far to come back. Stop! Stop! Oh, I thought you were going to hit that log. You're right. Yep, you're good. A little range as it could, hey? Total in 10 tonne. I don't actually know if this is a rated recovery point. But... You haven't got many options. What else would we do instead? I don't know, take the caravan off. Lucky we were here. Caravan is just pulling people out. Another day, another bogging. This is a big hill. Okay, problem is we're stuck because this tree is gonna hit the caravan. We can't swing wide because we have this tree. So what about that rock there? There's just a rock at the back of the caravan. Yeah, 
This is the hectiest thing we've ever done with the van. Look at that. This is effed up. I know you should never rely on someone's word, but there was this guy who does this track all... He was a tour guide. He, does, he takes people on tours here. And he said there'll be one river crossing, which he said might be a problem. But to be honest, that was the least of our problems. This here is about tenfold more of a problem. Tell you what, we're gonna sleep well tonight. Jacob's still walking up, like, it, <sighs> I'm speechless. What did it hit on? Transmission's just getting a bit hot. We'll just go up here and then I'll stop. I'll just go up here and stop and then That was the most ridiculous thing we have ever done with the car. Ever. Ever, ever. That was literally out of this world. I don't know what we're doing. Like if it gets worse than that, like it's like, what are we doing? Like we're stuck. Yeah, this is, yeah, this, this sucks. It's just so dumb. I don't know what to do. How, does it get worse than this? I don't think so, but I don't know. I, prob I mean, it just, this track is just getting considerably worse and worse and worse as we go. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect it not to.
So we've uh, had a big day. We've had a huge day. Just another little obstacle here. Yeah, it's been a big day. I think we've done about half of the Frenchman's track and then we've just come across this little road that takes us out. It's not marked on any map. I think it was just too much for us. It was just silly what we were doing. So we just come across this little Telstra road that's bringing us out. Just one last little crossing. Hopefully. Hopefully, and then we'll be back on the main road because we've almost had enough, to be honest. I'm so tired and it's like three o'clock. It's been a huge day. So we had a new sound coming from the front of the car. The uh, wing on the bull bar has come loose. And if you watched uh, maybe last episode or the episode before, uh, our tire ca caught up on this and bent it down. So that might have had something to do with the loosening. It's just all going wrong. <laughs> What can we do about it though, but smile. I'm sure I'll be laughing about it next week. Oh, the motor. That would be bad. That would be bad. It wouldn't be the first time, but it would be bad. Mm -hmm. You should be higher than that at that point, to be honest. And I know when we went down, that second bump on the right, you look, your right tyre is going to go into it, so if anything, your left side should possibly come up a little bit. 